is up guys welcome back to the channel finally as you can see there's nothing behind me for once the truck is out of the garage finally if you remember quick recap we popped a head gasket uh in march of this year and went ahead and did the mo mid plate motor plate switched to methanol uh 16 volt battery did a bunch of stuff and took that long unfortunately but we are finally doing something the truck is all loaded up got brandon helping me out he's gonna help me pull it over there and we are headed to flacco's performance flacco's gonna put a tune in it for me i don't know if we're gonna drive it around to tune it or just put one in it or what but we're gonna head that way so we'll catch you all when we get over there All right, guys, well, we did not get any video last night, unfortunately. Um, as you can see, when we're pulling up, it was pretty dark. And by the time we actually got around to messing with the truck, it was just pitch black out there. He's out in the country, so there's no street lights or anything out there. And it was just too dark. I tried to do a video and you just can't see shit. So pretty much to sum it up for you on how it went, we loaded up the tune in the truck I started it, took a minute, finally built fuel pressure. I started it up. I'm in the truck happy as can be. I don't see any issues. It's got oil pressure, it's got fuel pressure, it's running finally. I was happy as hell. And then I look up and see Flacco giving the old cut it off thing up there. Uh. Pretty much, I couldn't see from the inside, but from the outside when I got out and seen it, there was fuel everywhere. There was fuel from the front of the truck all the way to the bed cover, just covered the whole thing in fuel. It was just pouring buckets out the exhaust. Um, like I said, I mean, just the whole entire truck was just covered, drenched in fuel. Uh, so, cut it off and we just took it back home from there, just hung out for a minute. So I came back here, unhooked the fuel line, spun it over, it did have some fuel in it. And then I hooked the fuel line back up and left the injectors unplugged just to see. And uh, so I'll do a video, I'll insert a video here real quick of turning the motor over on this side. So as you can see in that video, this back injector right here just stuck wide open, just pouring out fuel, a lot of fuel. I probably have, you know, six quarts of oil and five gallons of fuel in the motor now. I'm surprised it's not hydro locked. But so that injector's for sure stuck open. I had one over here kind of stuck open, another one like halfway or so. It's not as bad as the other side. But um so I tried to blow them out backwards, like it says on Atomizer's page and put them back in and they are still just no difference. So pretty much I'm gonna have to take these injectors back out, put them back in their case and send them off to either Build Atomizer or somebody. I gotta talk to some people and see who do they think I should let clean these injectors. I mean, I don't wanna send them just anybody cause they're literally brand new. They weren't, they were in the case last week still uh but <clears throat> i mean that it is what it is it's racing i'm not mad at nobody it's probably my fault the fuel lines i cleaned them out before we started it up but maybe there is still more junk in there because all of these lines are brand new all the way to the pump from the tank i mean they're all just they're all brand new and they're all likely to have some kind of trash in them so hopefully that's all it is and it's racing i did get a new uh, fuel regulator here my one I currently have is not does not go high enough on base pressure pressure so I had to order that and send these injectors back off and then we'll do a first fire up video from there but uh go ahead and just record me taking these out you know sending them off and I may make this all into one video we'll see either way thanks for all the support and all of y'all watching and keeping along I know it's been boring in the garage for the last eight months almost but we're about to be back out racing.